Hi, Steve Hara back again for another video. Um, today I just thought I'd do some uh, random titles. Uh, uh, but first off, uh, I missed another Anchor Bay title, uh, which escaped my radar, uh, and that is Anchor Bay UK's Trilogy of the Dead. Uh, obviously, uh, Night, Dawn and Day is included in this along with a uh, document of the dead and a night of the living dead documentary uh dawn of the dead is missing six seconds uh but now I'll, I'll, in later releases it's fully uh restored but this one's still quite a nice looking release uh that's the uh old uh, uk pre-cert cover which is the uh cover i prefer the most uh, comes with a nice little booklet and um, that which looks quite nice and four discs obviously so I'm pretty sure that is now the last of my Anchor Bay titles Right, up next is the Zombie Survivor set. This one comes from Germany, I think. And this one comes in like a, sort of looks like a zip. It's in like a slip cover. We'll just take that out of there and I'll show you what's inside. Fucking hell, how many more? Right, so we got Zombie Dawn of the Dead, the Argento cut, uh, Dawn of the Dead, the ultimate final cut. Uh, what's that? 156 minutes. It's uh, that's only uh, German language only, but yeah, I've seen this film so many times. I don't matter what fucking language is in, to be honest. Um. Zombie 2, Zombie 3, Zombie 4, and uh, Bonus DVD. And I can't remember what's on it. Next one is the Nailgun Massacre. Uh, I think uh, Synapse released a, a version of this as well after this one. But this one, uh, what was it? It's the Dulux Uncensored Director's Cut with special features. And this one has his autograph. Yeah, this one's limited to. 500 my number is 305 I don't think there's anything inside except for the disc which is obviously the most important next one Mansion of the Doomed. Now, this is a Dutch release, uncut and uncensored. Um, I think this was uh, Vipco released this uh, back in the day. I think it came under the title Massacre Mansion. This is actually a pretty good film. I've seen it a few times. And this is the Extreme label. Up next is the Traces of Death box set. Uh, it's just like a shockumentary series. Uh, used to uh, enjoy watching this sort of stuff back in the day. 
But now, if I'm a bit honest, uh, it sort of like gets on my tits now. It's, uh, yeah, getting an old man myself now. I sort of don't want to be reminded of death. <laughs> but uh, there you go. This one's got uh, traces of death. One, two, three, four, and five. Uh, I believe it's like a European release. Uh, still pretty cool to have. Uh, collector's edition. But if I'm being honest with you, I don't tend to watch this kind of shit anymore. Up next is The Evil. Uh, this DVD uh, comes from Japan. Uh, it, it's, it comes in a CD type case. It is in an original. And this must be one of the earliest DVDs ever made. Uh, this one is, I don't know if you can see that, probably not, because this fucking camera shit. Uh, basically it's 1996, so yeah, that is a very old release. And if I can just try and open this up, like breaking it, there it is, there is the disc, uh, what's that, Cinema Supply. Uh, this is obviously 18 years old and uh, as you can see not a scratch on it and that's how you look after DVDs <laughs> up next is uh, Dark Sky Films Don't Go Near the Park uh, I think this was a uh, video nasty in fact I'm Almost certain it was. Uh, it's actually got quite a few special features. This one, uh, all my audio commentary by the director Lawrence D. The fuck uh, D. Folds, Fold, Foldies. God knows. Uh, but yeah, it's a really stupid film. But um, oh, I actually quite like it. Next, another Dark Sky release, and this is the anthology film Dead of Night. This is absolutely brilliant. Well, at least the last story is. In fact, I like all the stories, but it's the last one, which I think is called uh, Bobby. Yeah, that, that last scene in, in Bobby uh, freaks me right out, even to this day. Uh, this one comes with a bonus second feature, and that is in it's called A Darkness at Blazedon. Yeah, I watched that. Uh, I suppose it was alright, but here we go. Yeah, pretty good film, this. Next one is the Warner Brothers Twisted Terror Collection, Eyes of a Stranger. Now, this is a really good film. Uh, the, the effects was done by Tom Savini, and this is the uncut version. And... And to be honest with you, it's quite a gory film. You know, maybe not as gory as is more well-known ones. Obviously, you know, Maniac, The Prowler, The Burning. But there's still quite a bit in there. And what is in there is quite good. I, I, I think it should have more recognition, to be honest. Because, you know, I don't really hear many people talking about this when, when they, you know, talk about uh, Tom Savini's films. Because it is actually pretty gory. Um... But yeah, there you have it. Uh, the last one for uh, today is the guinea pig box set. Uh, this one comes from Germany and is limited to 3,000 copies. I think this contains, oh my God. I think this contains all the guinea pig films. It's the, uh, well, actually, I'll get them out. I might as well. Come on, fuck's sake. Yeah, this one's got uh, the, the flower, the flowers of flesh and blood. The collector's edition. I don't know what's in it on it because I can't speak German. 
the Devil's Experiment. He Never Dies. Devil Woman Doctor. The Making of Devil Woman Doctor. The Making of Guinea Pig. Mermaid in a Manhole. And... Android of Notre Dame or Dam. Uh, also included is this here. Uh, well, I'll get it out, I suppose, but I know it's going to be a fucking nightmare trying to put it back. I'm just going to have to put my phone down. Bear with me. Yeah, this one comes with a t-shirt it says would you be my and then turn it over and it says guinea pig also it comes with a poster which i don't think i'll bother getting out but yeah, well, there you go. That's it. Right, that's it for uh, for this video. And uh, I'll see you all again for my next one. Cheers.